But hey, we just did a podcast with Tom. It was very fun and we had a really good time. And my arms are shaking because this camera is so <laughs> freaking heavy. I taught them how to do a TikTok too. She did, it was really fun. And we yeah. talked about all of our favorite reality TV shows that Carly doesn't watch. Nope. Not at all. So, you know, Sometimes. teach their own. There's plenty <laughs> of different topics. TikTok, Vanderpump Rules. We all got our own. Um, David surprising everyone with things and, you know, all that good stuff. So make sure to watch. Thank you. We're here with Carly and Erin, so we've been talking, so why not just start like this? Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah. We were talking about Chris D'Elia. Yeah. What did you think of you? I just finished it last night. Oh my god. It was, it was, the second season was way better than the first for sure. Yeah. I agree. I'm excited did you, for the third. Did you watch both seasons? Of course. Simultaneously or like? No, no, no. I watched the first one. And it seemed like, because a lot of shows, you'll watch the first season. And they take so long to come out with the next one, like you know, forget about yeah. it. That's why it bothers me. They were pretty quick about it, though. Yeah, I, I think, think so cause they already had the first one. Like it was aired on Lifetime or something originally. Oh wow! And then oh. I think Netflix. That makes total like, sense. It. I feel like Maybe it's I'm such lying. a lifetime. Maybe I'm making creepy the show. dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And it's a little cheesy, so it works for Lifetime. It feels like it's on yes. Lifetime, but I, I like. Do you like Chris Elia in it? Oh, he's awesome. Yeah. He, but I don't know if it's good or bad. Like. <laughs> Like, hey, Chris, great job. Yeah, I was playing a like, child molester. Yeah. 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 Great yeah. job playing a creepy guy. Yeah. I know, I know. And he did that on um, Workaholics, too. I know. Like I saw some character. comments. Like, I saw a, a post of like a post to you, and everyone's like, dude, you're getting typecast. Like, you play that role <laughs> yeah. too well. Yeah. Just a creepy man. What yeah. was his name on? It was uh, Beaverhole69. <laughs> <laughs> that so. is so funny. Would you, I saw you posted a meme about it. I think yesterday or the day before, one of you guys did. Oh yeah, I did. It was somebody who was DMing me on Instagram. It was just like the creepiest thing. And then I just put a picture of Joe from you because it felt like, <laughs> he was like, I forgot what it said. It was something weird about my face. I love, I love your face. And I was like, I love oh, to see yeah, your yeah. face. And then it was something else about oh, my yeah. face. And I was like, okay, you're going to be blocked now. Okay, Are you scared. single now? Yes. So I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> so do you get a lot of DMs? Like, do you... Are you oh out there? God. So are you paying attention to it's DMs? It's actually really crazy. Like, I never really did. Even before my ex-boyfriend, I feel like I didn't get hit on that much mm -hmm. in DMs or anything. And now, it's probably because it's known that I'm single yeah. more than before. Yeah. Especially your YouTube yeah. comments, too. Yeah. It's, like, really, like, three, like, nice, sweet ones in a row. And then it's, like, Carly, fuck me. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm, I'm like, just like, oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> but it's really funny. Right after my ex and I broke up, I was so torn up about it. If I even got a DM that was, like, you're so beautiful. Let me take you on a date. I would be so mad. <laughs> like how dare you like I yeah. just got out of a relationship yeah. like I literally wanted to block them even though they didn't do anything wrong I was just yeah. I was just going through it but yeah it, it's been more than before but. did you respond to him or not no 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 <laughs> I, was like, I don't know who you are I was interviewing Erica Costell and she was saying the amount of dick pics she gets was oh. like astronomical oh, like do you get those no do you guys like send a them? lot of people don't do it on Snapchat. I mean, Instagram. I feel like a lot of people used to do it on Snapchat. Like, yeah. I used oh, to get they? so many on Snapchat. Oh, oh for real? Yeah. yeah. Our friend, <laughs> our friend, if she gets a Snapchat or a dick pic, she'll figure out <laughs> the person's name, find their parents on Facebook, Shut and like up. message yeah. the parents. And Shut be like, this mouth. is what your son is doing. Yeah. I just wanted to make you aware. <laughs> because they're so strangers funny. sending them to her. Yeah. yeah. Which is so funny. But so she would, act, are you serious? She would actually no, yeah. find. Yeah, she does. She still currently does that. But I on love Facebook, it. I yeah. don't think you see messages unless you're already friends. Or you yeah. have to go through requests. So I don't know if parents know to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but even it. still, like, in a year from now, their mom finally figures out yeah. how to use yeah. their thing. Does she send like, oh a God. picture? I think so, yeah. Oh, my no, she sends God. a picture yeah. too? I think she just, like, screenshots it. Because some of the guys <laughs> will say, like, really disgusting, vulgar things yeah. as well. Yeah. So she's always, like, Fuck them! Like I'm gonna get them. Okay, can we tell? Say her name, or she's one of your Are friends. She, yeah, she's yeah. our friend Mackenzie. Oh, Mackenzie, I like she it. Posts Mackenzie it shout out. Yeah, and yeah. she's like open it. about the it. The craziest thing is she'll post that she's doing it, and mm -hmm. then people will still send her stuff. Like, like she's like just sent it to their mom, like she, publicly on Instagram <laughs> or Snapchat, <laughs> and then other guys will continue to do that. It's like what's that show where we were talking about Dateline before? But the one where they catch Pick the child. Predator. Like, yeah, it's oh, like yeah, dude, don't, yeah. Chris Hansen, that's my boy. Yeah, go for the lemonade. Yeah, come on, what are you doing? 
god, it's I miss so, that show. Oh my god. They do the same thing over and over. Yeah. yeah. It's oh, I think that's on Hulu. Is it really? Yeah. It is. Or like one of the one of the streaming sites it's on. I have oh them god, all, I have so to, I have to get I get that. them mixed up. <laughs> But I always said my calling in life was to be that girl because I look way younger. You do. I'm yeah. like, I made lemonade. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like run. Yeah. It's like let's dramatic. Do it for a video. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. You're let's find so potential controversial. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Go through your DMs. Find old <laughs> creepy guys. But it's Jason. <laughs> 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 he would oh be so God. funny about that too. <laughs> yeah, he's hey, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't. That is so funny. Wow, I love this. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. Well, Are we I canceled had to... for talking about that? I don't know. No. I love having, I had to get some girls representing too yeah. because I've done three of the vlog squad, no girls. Hi. Here we are. Jason. David and Zane. Mm -hmm. Good ones to pick from. Yeah, yeah. they're all good, but yeah. there's a lot of girls in the crew too. Yeah. yeah. I like that one, the video you did too with the girls of the vlog squad. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that was, that was cool. Cute. We did, yeah. that was a while ago. Was a, yeah. Wow. So like, yeah. <laughs> I just can't even remember. I feel like it was. it was like over a year ago now. Mm -hmm. People wanted so to know. People were asking, like, are you guys going to do another one? I don't know. I feel like everyone's always gone now. Yeah. I mean, Corinna like, basically lives in Florida. <laughs> Liza's never here. And Natalie, Natalie doesn't like to be in videos that much. Yeah. She'll be in David's, obviously. Yeah, when we and did then... that one, everyone was like, where's Natalie? Where's Natalie? And it was at a time where she was, like, not in anyone's videos at all and didn't want to do it. And we previously asked her to do a video with us, and she's like, I'm just not comfortable with it. So then, obviously, everyone yeah. was like, they hate Natalie because <laughs> yeah. she's not in this video. Like, they're so messed <laughs> up. And we're like, oh, my God. We try so hard. Yeah. But, um... That, even that one was really hard to get everyone together, yeah. too. Yeah. And it was hard to feel. Everyone was talking over yeah. each other. And it wasn't in the <laughs> negative way. It was just like, we're all chatting and having <laughs> yeah. fun, but you forget you're filming. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, and it was also a brand deal, so we had to like cover certain things. And <laughs> yeah. it was like, Corinna's saying something, Liza's saying something. <laughs> yeah. So, like, guys. you know, you guys can't say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just to be brand friendly, too. That's it's funny. Are you, are you guys but... pretty brand friendly? You seem like it. Um, yeah. I think sort so. Sort of. I feel like we're half and I mean half. we've done like Adam and Eve brand deals okay so, yeah but in a funny way yeah, yeah. We're, I don't think we filter ourselves yeah. but we're not like we're, we're not David like we're not gonna do crazy stuff like that yeah sure it's that would kill our channel <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah we are, we've been bleeping cuss words because we oh, yeah? uh, figured out that helped the CPM uh, so that's a little bit censorship we've been doing, but which is so annoying. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that, right? Because I'm due to this, right? Yeah, People yeah. out there are aspiring YouTubers. What What do you mean by bleeping it gets you higher CPM? Like why? So, because it's cleaner, so it's more. They like clean content. So advertisers will want to promote on your videos more than a channel that is not clean. Yeah, I gotcha. So if you're bleeping out cuss words, I don't even know how they find go through them. videos. Oh, yeah, they must have either. some sort of the same way they. Find music, I'm yeah. assuming. Um, yeah, which we can't use either. <laughs> which sucks. I know, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, if you, like, make really clean videos, don't cuss, and, you know, all the other goody two-shoes stuff, you'll have a higher CPM rate because ads are more inclined to put an advertisement on your video yeah. than, like, David. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which David's doing yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. He's doing good. <laughs> yeah. I, I interviewed Bella Thorne, and she wanted to do it in her bed at her house. <laughs> and it's pretty, watch That's the video, funny. it's like visually it's pretty funny. Yeah. Like we're it's just, I mean, we're sitting on her bed like this, like next to each other. Cute. But she's smoking weed the whole time. Oh, wow. So obviously it was demonetized. Yeah. But it I was did like, get demonetized. Of course it did. Yeah. yeah. She's smoking weed for an hour yeah. straight, like blunt after her assistant was like rolling and just like handing them to her, like as we were doing an interview. I would not be able to function. Yeah, same. If I take two hits, I'm done like yeah. i'm paranoid that's so that's awesome though because it's so authentic to her yeah, yeah. true and i, I didn't that. care i'm like okay so yeah. i lost money on it it's <laughs> yeah. cool it's a cool video yeah you're like so high secondhand high i'm yeah, sober probably. like i've been sober a while so like i was kind of weird i was like i think i had a contact high i made daniel shout out to daniel the camera guy drive to the next interview because we had one right after <laughs> oh, that nice. and she lives up in <laughs> so like laurel funny. canyon yeah. yeah and it's like you know those houses up the hills and it's like one lane yeah. roads i'm like dude i was sketchy driving up here oh that's so tana just made a video talking about how crazy it is to get to her house. Oh, did she? Wait, yeah. we've been, is it the house with like, no, 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 it's a, she moved. It's different? Not yeah. in the valley, she got, an, got another it. one. Got it. But it's, yeah, it is crazy. That's really, I forget what it was. Tana was telling, it was like a story about an Uber driver. And she was like, getting to Bella's new house is so crazy that uh. Uber drivers will like cancel halfway up and it already takes them like 25 minutes just to like get there. Jeez. Like when you call an Uber. Yeah, that's a big reason I wouldn't live 
up that high. Yeah. It takes so long for Ubers to get to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I get car sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Aaron does really bad. Well, I was watching something. You were saying you like YouTube gossip. I'm not, a, or I think you were both saying that. You like, like YouTube gossip. I'm not a gossipy guy, but like, oh. what do you think of the Tana Jake breakup? Like, were they? Oh, um, the whole thing was bizarre. I mean, I feel like everyone knew it wasn't like legit, legit, and obviously they were gonna break up or divorce. <laughs> sure, sure. I don't yeah, know. I don't. Re- I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's. I guess it's hard to say. Like, I think that we all knew it wasn't forever. Of course. Like Jana forever, that's Jana not a thing. Yeah, but then there's, you know, like the kids who are like, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. like, it's hard for we, me. We can't, we can't talk about it. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> yeah. It's too soon. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's kids out there that see that and they're like, oh my God, like they're in love. They're yeah. going to last forever. I so I feel like those are probably people who are like affected by it where they like need to make a statement to be like, hey guys, it just didn't work out. But I don't know. That's like a whole nother world. It is. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I don't understand. It's You're fun get- to watch for sure. Yeah, but I'm just oh, like, I love huh? It. What other like what other tea? Like, do you like watch tea channels and do you follow all this nonsense? Not really. I mean, if something's like big, big that's happening, I'm mm. really invested. Sure. Yeah. Um, but we don't like seek out, I guess. No. Yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. I think it's nice because we're we don't really have much drama, no. so like watching other people and getting to live vicariously through that is a thrill enough. Yeah. Like, I've always oh, been that way, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I've reality loved, TV shows, yeah. mm-hmm. stuff like that. Just watching drama happen that you're not involved with. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always, like, a nice, okay, I'm good, but I'm interested yeah. to see what will happen. Well, you could just watch the beauty community, yeah. like, last oh, summer, yeah. and God, it's I like, know. holy shit, what's going on today? I know. Like, you have to be crazy if you make makeup? <laughs> I, I don't, <laughs> Is that maybe. A pre- I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think it's crazy that they're the community that has so much. Oh my like God, the most. I would think they'd just be like, woohoo, I look great. <laughs> Making like, money. I don't, I don't care about anything. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. Yeah. But dang, I don't know. And I think it, our friend group, like our friend group has no drama really. So none it's like of you guys crazy do, to really. me that there's like a whole other group of people who. And like our fr- we're not the kind of people either who would do stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. make videos like attacking yeah, other people. Never. So it's yeah. like so foreign. And when it does happen, I'm like, wow, this is wild. Like, I can't believe people do this. Like, just because I could never imagine like, doing that. No, like attacking people yeah, in videos and yeah. going back and forth. I hate it. Yeah. It seems it's exhausting. So yeah. Yeah. It's and so scary kind of too. Yeah. yeah. But then when it does happen, you're like, oh my God, the other person posted <laughs> yeah, one. I got to watch it. <laughs> no, <What happened>? literally. <laughs> but it's also crazy how you can take a side so quickly without really knowing. Like when oh, yeah. the James Charles things happen, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe it did that. Yeah. But then when Fuck he James posted Charles. his, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was like, oh, that makes sense. I don't know. You yeah. like, don't really no, know. Um, the most recent one for me that I saw, I do not watch mukbangers at all. I okay. have no idea about that community. <laughs> but one was like recommended with um Nikocado. Okay, that's how you say Nikocado, it. Nikocado avocado. And avocado Stephanie, yeah. and Stephanie Sue. And I literally sat through like hours of videos <laughs> watching. I'm like, I don't know these people or I and I don't know who they're talking about <laughs> and like what's happening, but it's so interesting. Cause I'm just yeah. like, how is this a way that people are communicating? I don't get it. But what was the beef? What's the should we watch? Um, it, it right was now. Like pretty well, he had a he had a deal sad. with Trisha Paytas. Yeah. They had beef when I interviewed Trisha. It was That's my, how I knew who he was. Yeah, so I when knew I him saw this girl made a video about him, I was like, oh, what happened now? And it was actually kind of sad. Like I feel bad for her. She suffers from some sort of um, like abuse happened to her, mm-hmm. and she confided in him, and then he was like super manipulative and crazy and. So she just like brought light to it and then I don't know, it was real messy, but it was real I don't know, it's a form of entertainment. To me, it they're not like is, real yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody like, told me there's actually mukbang tea channels. Somebody told just me that. Tea channels for everything. So like they eat but they're also like spilling oh. tea at the same time. Oh. I don't know if it's just in the mukbang community or like yeah. tea about everybody. Well, it- even in the videos, they both of them kept talking about like, well, then there was drama with this person and this person, and they were like bringing up all these old yeah. like fights. I'm like, how, how are does this happen? Yes, <laughs> like, it's wild, but sometimes it's just fun to of course watch it and have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it's like watching Real Housewives. Yeah, <laughs> which ones do you watch? Uh, all of them. Well, currently, yeah. You watching Jersey? Oh, see, oh yeah. Okay. I love them. They're the fucking craziest. Who's the Who's the one who's pulling hair? I watched last night. That is Danielle. Oh, what is her name? <laughs> Beverly. 
Yeah, she. But she, she she's out of her fucking mind. No, she's literally a crazy person. Yeah, she's insane. And Teresa always I takes her even, side. I can't. Teresa even always Teresa. takes her side, <laughs> especially since Teresa was the one who first had a problem with her in season one. Yeah, and flipped the freaking table. table. On we her. all remember that. Yeah, we'll insert clip here. Iconic moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I love them. Have you watched Dallas at all? I can't get into. It. I saw they had the reunion show. I think I love it so much because I don't identify with any of them. Okay. Or and like I never, I didn't grow up in the South. Like, I didn't spend much time in the South. So watching how all of their lifestyles go, I'm just like, this is so insane. Okay, I gotta check and it out. they're pretty crazy, too. Well, it's the Housewives series, yeah. so they have to be. Um, OC, love OC. OC's getting tired. Vicky, yes. was, Vicky was not supposed to be on the season. Every oh, fucking she episode, she's no, on. she wasn't. She was like, I'm not doing it. But then, like, came back in the other, like, third episode of the reunion the other <laughs> night. And she's like... This show would be, I built this show. Oh my God. <laughs> like I built, and Andy's like, no, you sent in an audition tape. <laughs> Dude, I was screaming at the TV like a crazy she, person every I, time she I said that. I can't stand her. The worst. She's just such a, ugh. well, it's also like, I don't know them in real life. Yeah. But you know what's so funny? Like what you're seeing. Yeah. To your point, I hate everyone on that show. <laughs> yeah. There's not one person on Orange County I like. Yeah. Tamara, I do like, Tamara's getting shitty. Yeah, I kind of like, like, like the one. Win. No! I like her. <laughs> you know they're swingers. And what's with the yeah. stupid necklaces the husband wears? <laughs> well, yeah, that's a little what weird. But I think they're that? so interesting. Yeah. But it's, and it's also, it's like I don't identify no. with her. So it's like I like watching that. But I don't like anyone. But I watch yeah. every week. They're all terrible. They're that's all why terrible they're on the fucking show. people, yeah. That's why they're on a reality show. Like, it would never work if it was, like, us. Because we'd be like, ooh, watch yeah, I don't me. know what to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> watch me sit with my cat. Like, <laughs> I, thought, I don't know. I, I think a lot of people you. would watch that, yeah. though, to be fair. Like, they would. Do you watch Vanderpump Rules? Of course I do. Ugh, I watched nice. I watched the first week last week. What, how did you think of, of it? First of all, Carly, okay. I'm like, this, I, don't know any of I just wanted to have. This is probably boring to fucking ninety percent of people. But you You're know, like, what are they talking but about? My dream was always to have an after-show reality show. Oh, because yeah, me and my cool. wife watch all this reality trash, yeah. and I have so many fucking opinions. Sam. First of all, on Vanderpump, Carly by Bell's boyfriend looks like shit. Was he? Is he a hot dude? Wait, I don't know who you're talking about. She's he's on, the, he's the new guy. Show. No, her ex-boyfriend is on Vanderpump now. Carly by Bell, she's a, like a beauty a Beauty YouTuber. influencer, yeah. But her ex-boyfriend is the new Which guy is on he? Vanderpump. Matt? He's real the, like, skinny. Tall guy? I don't know. Okay, one of the He works one at Sir, I don't yeah. know, from some dude. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not a fan. Yeah, the newbies, I'm like, you're going to take some warming up too. Also, I just like, Jax, no one in the world <laughs> makes me more angry. Like, really? looking at him. Yeah, because I'm just like, you're, you're a terrible person. Like, you are so terrible. He's literally, if you follow him on Twitter or anything, which I do not, I, he's I literally Donald Trump. Like, uh. he he can't spell anything right. He attacks people. <laughs> like he's a buff one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He cheats on every single person. He Whatever. He I'm has getting everyone. Heated. Yeah, you're yes. really getting hives right now. <laughs> he's, ugh. Um, but there's a really good podcast. It's called Sup. Sexy, okay. Sexy, unique podcast. Okay. You should listen to it. It's so good. She What's just, it about? Like, she, so it's this girl named Lara Marie Shane Holtz, and she... Basically, just like talks shit about all of the characters. Oh, just Vanderpump. Yeah, but it's it's very very good. Okay. And she does one episode a week and like recaps the episode. She'll most of the time have a guest on with her. Oh, okay. It's really it's fun because she'll bring on like I don't know if there's ever been like celebrity celebrities, but other people. Who Will people from the show come on or not? Um, at the very beginning they did, but I think because now it's a little touchy because uh, okay. she's like talked shit about basically yeah, yeah. every single person okay. on the show. They uh one, just one on. one point on this because we're boring everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. But just one one more thing on Vanderpump. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lala and Emmett is on the show this year, that fat fuck. Oh it's he's on the show, <laughs> yes. I love Lala. I love Lala. I love Lala. He just I don't get I don't get yeah, the whole thing. I don't know him enough to like have know. an opinion, yeah. but like whatever. Whatever. I, I also love Sheena because she's like so guess if, FYI. Her sister is Erica Costell's assistant. What? I met her here when I interviewed Erica oh Costell. Small Sheena. world. Yeah. I love Sheena. Yeah. She's just like a hot mess, but owns it. You know? But owns it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Carly, I'm sorry for excluding you. For the last 10 minutes, you're I've just sitting OC, there. I've seen OC, so that's yeah. fine. You're like, why the fuck am I sitting here? No <laughs> one's talking to me. No, it's fine. I'm like having, I could sit here for eight more hours <laughs> yeah. and talk about this. I'm so passionate. <laughs> it's okay. I'm like that with TikTok, so yeah. I get it. Carly, like, stays out till three in the morning, and I sit on my couch and binge watch reality TV, so. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing at three passion. in the morning now? I just going out with the crew. Yeah. I mean, oh, okay. yeah. Not really three, but yeah. it happens sometimes. Are you doing more TikToks? 
Um, I make TikToks. I think it's really fun. Yeah. Not like a ton, but I love, I'm always watching it. Like that's my favorite thing is before bed, just like falling asleep watching TikToks. Yeah. It's like a nice relief. Do you know them? Because I watch TikToks too, but I'm not like that into it. So I don't know who to follow. I just right. kind of, whatever comes up, I just kind of go that's through. Yeah, I don't even is look that at what my, you do? I don't even look at my following. I oh, just go okay. through for you. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's weird. It's definitely different than like Vine where you have to follow people, but oh. I don't know. I feel like you don't really have to on TikTok. What do you think of the Hype House? I don't really know much about it. I mean, I've met a couple of them. They're very sweet. I met mm -hmm. Dixie and Addison. And I don't know if you I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> I know. I'm like. I, yeah, I'm just nodding politely. Yeah. <laughs> Dixie, do you know Charlie D'Amelio? She's like the biggest. The huh? girl. Okay. No, okay. I, have no I feel idea. like she's no. the only one like, no, that you might know. Sure, sure. It, Dixie's her little sister or uh, older sister. Okay. Um, but yeah, I met them. They're very sweet. It reminds me of the Vine days. If, yeah. I don't know if you watched Vine of course. ever, but it reminded me of like when we all met and yeah. first started hanging out. And they're all so young, so they're like in their prime, probably just like having oh, the time yeah. of their life. Like, woo! Well, what? some are still in high school. Oh, like, how do, I don't know how they're crap. finishing high school. I don't oh, understand, yeah. but <laughs> they're doing it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine being a, like a Vine star and you're a sophomore in high school, like. I wouldn't give a fuck. I, I've got I, three yeah. million followers. I, I'm not yeah. paying attention to calculus. Well, yeah. Was, wasn't Liza like, it was her, she was in high school. And mm -hmm. She was like blowing up on Yeah, mm -hmm. so was David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Just they both. Little babies. Yeah, they both blew up in high school, which is crazy. I'm At glad that graduated we, college. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm so happy that happened when we were in college Same. because we were allowed to like finish college and yeah. not think about it. And not even. I mean, it's not like we thought, oh, I'm, I'm too good for school or anything like that. Oh, but I'm no. just glad that my mind was not on college anymore when we finally moved out here and yeah. started meeting people and collabing. Because I would have not been able to finish college, I don't think, if I was doing all of that. Yeah. Well, I like your story. So go back to that, right? So yeah. you're both in college mm -hmm. and you're separate. You're in Nebraska. You're in Massachusetts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how did you guys, were you just making vines individually? Yeah. 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 We basically on Vine, you form little communities of people who you kind of identify with and get along with and that's just kind of how we met. Yeah, we just like visited a couple times and kind of found our friend groups and then we all started YouTubing at the same time. And Who was your friend group? Who are you? Everyone we're friends with now. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. David yeah. and everybody? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Matt King. We go way back with Matt King and Zane. And, um, yeah, I peed on... Carly and Matt's clothes. The first once. night we met because she was what? blackout drunk. Yeah. Yeah. You nice. peed on their clothes? Yeah, it's like a bonding experience. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> we're staying at our, our friend Brendan McNerney. He was a viner too. Mm -hmm. And we were staying in his guest room and we were in the same room. And I remember waking up at like 4 a.m. and after a night of drinking. Mm -hmm. And I heard Aaron walking around and she opened the closet. And I was like, what are you doing? And she was like, I just really have to pee. I was like, Aaron, there's a bathroom right, right outside, like right outside the door, directly outside the door. And I just remember hearing like the water and I was just like, I'm not going to, I'm just going to go back to sleep and like figure it out in the morning. And then our, it, for some reason, Matt King's clothes were in there. Yeah, I don't know. Like his jacket was. He probably just threw it like on the floor because it yeah. was on the floor. Yeah, and they were a little uh, damp in the morning. But then they wore them. Like, they did they film dryer. it like Aaron peed on her clothes last no, night? They didn't make a video? No, no, we weren't. No. None of us were like. I wish we were vlogging YouTube then. Yeah. or anything. If we YouTube were vlogging then, oh my, we would be demonetized. <laughs> <now. laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff happened then. But so that was our first night together. <laughs> well, go back. So you, because you graduated college mm -hmm. and you had jobs, right? You had like a real job yeah. after. Yeah. So yeah. what were you guys doing? I I took a job as an assistant to my best friend's dad's business, and okay. then I kind of worked my way up and somehow got into accounting there. <laughs> so then when I moved out here, I was able to keep that job and work remotely. So I did that until about like 2017 until we oh, were wow. able to just live off of YouTube. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I quit. How about, how about you? Were you? Yeah, I was working at Target. I'd been there for like five years. Oh, okay. Just like sales floor. Um, and then when I moved out here, I was just doing brand deals on Vine and stuff like that. So I was just slowly trying to make money to live off of. And then finally YouTube happened and yeah. yeah. Okay. I, that's why I like your story because you're not that 12 year old TikToker who's, yeah. you know, who made a hundred grand this month. And, you yeah. Know, yeah. It was like kind of a slow trajectory. Yeah. It really was. Yeah. And I feel like out of the group, like we definitely are the slowest growing or, you know, like we were always the bottom, but mm -hmm. we didn't care. It was just like, yeah. that's just how it was. And it was totally fine. Yeah. I, oh, sorry. Go no, ahead. go ahead. I didn't well, know. and especially at the beginning, like we weren't hanging or like filming with other people as much. Like it was really just the two mm -hmm. of us doing it together, mainly because 
they lived in the valley and we were in Hollywood and, you know, traffic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we were like, we're not going over the hill <laughs> <Yeah>. today. <laughs> I mean, if you go at a certain time, it's just impossible. Yeah. It's like, call us before three. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah. don't. We're not us. coming. Yeah. So it was just like us in the beginning, which was really fun. Yeah. I'm glad it started off that way. Mm -hmm. Like, it was basically just us. And then now that we moved closer, we're with them all the time. But mm -hmm. I think it's only helped just like everything in general. Yeah, it's so neat to kind of see how everyone works together. It yeah. doesn't seem like there's any drama. We we're talking drama before. It doesn't yeah. seem like there's much drama in, I don't ever remember hearing a story, Jason with Trisha when they broke up, but that was probably yeah. the only drama I've ever heard yeah. out of the vlog squad. Yeah, I feel like within there's really nothing. Well, yeah, I within mean, nothing. It's, I... We're basically all like siblings though. So you have to think about like when the cameras are off, like we do bicker, but nothing yeah. that's like, we're, I'm gonna make a video about you. Yeah, yeah that would never you. happen. It's like because we are like real actual friends, so it's like you fight with your friends, you fight with your family, sure. and it's just like that. Yeah. yeah, it's cool because we're all from different places, so it genuinely feels like a family. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like we're we're together for Thanksgiving, like we have the whole Thanksgiving <laughs> yeah. together, and we'll like film all day, but then at night, you know, we'll all watch a movie or something. Sometimes it's just fun. It's, it's just cool. Yeah, it's yeah. not all about filming either, which mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think. It's, it's like, like the cameras are always on. Like they're only hanging out to like film. People genuinely stuff. are like, are they under contract? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you have a contract uh, with David or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I, I like get that. Though. If yeah. I wasn't in it, I'd probably assume that too. But yeah. yeah. Especially because it's called Vlog Squad, but we didn't even like make that yeah. term. I know it's you're on my thing the, actually. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, it is. Go to, go to FanJoy, <laughs> support, support David. FanJoy.co <laughs> slash David Dobrik. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if he sells this anymore. I, uh, I, I don't even know if they were. Like, I don't even know if this it. came out, yeah. did it? I think I've seen. That's like, cool. I like that logo. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's like Dare, right? Yeah, it looks like I was just gonna say that. The old Dare logo. I know. I like the way it looks. Be cute. Yeah. David is killing it on. What's up? First of all, with David. I'm gonna ask you about him. Is one? Is it annoying? Does everyone ask you about David? Oh yeah, like yeah. Somewhat? But I don't think it's annoying. Yeah, it's not annoying. Normal. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. I, I was watching one of the videos. By everyone, who, who do you mean? Just like people who meet you. Like, hey, okay. what's David like? Or like, yeah. you're an interview. Or what about Got David? It. Or yeah. Do yeah. you feel like just like people are using you to get to David sometimes? Oh, is that a thing? I don't think so. No. I no. Never thought that. No. Oh okay. I feel like that's normal. Yeah. If I had a friend that was friends with Taylor Swift, I'd be like, what's Taylor like? <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Plus, he's one of our closest friends, so it's just like... And we're all very supportive of one another, yeah. too, so... Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone's trying to bring each other down so they no. get more no, views. Never. It doesn't seem like no. that kind of infighting. No. But I was watching a video with... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I was just kind of going through videos, like, getting doing homework, and I saw one with... Car Corinna was in it. Is it Corinna? Or uh -huh. Corinna. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With uh, Corinna, and she said something. Dave's like, you didn't film anymore? <laughs> he's like, shut the fuck up. He's like, you haven't yeah. filmed in three months, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. And I was laughing, but then I was thinking about it. David's out there it, grinding it out. Uh -huh. is, he's not doing three a week anymore, is he? No. no. Two? He's, he tries Trying. to do two. He tries to do two. It, yeah. There's really no set schedule. But for years, he was doing three, and then yeah. he has the podcast with Jason, and I, I don't know what else he has so going on. Things. So many projects going on. Is that tough? Like, do you try to keep up with them or is it like more inspirational like how the fuck's he doing I gotta step my game up or uh, I don't really know I mean it's more of like he'll he literally texts us every morning to mm -hmm. like come over and so we'll like yeah. go over and if he needs help like we're always there to just like react to something or mm -hmm. be a part of it um I think for us it's just it's cool seeing him do things that he does that we would think that could never happen, if that makes sense. Like what, like Kylie Jenner and that yeah, stuff? Yeah, just like yeah. getting Kylie Jenner, or even like a situation where it's like, no, we gotta get Jason here by this time so this person can surprise him. Cause to me, I would be like, that'll never happen. There's yeah. no way everything will play out that way, but it always works it, for Once him. he has something in his head, it's going to happen. And if it doesn't, he'll figure it, figure out, it out. Yeah. It's yeah. really crazy. Like even hanging out with him, if you were to hang out with him for a full day when he like needed to get a vlog done, like I'm exhausted. And he doesn't, like, he works so hard, it's crazy. And he speaks so fast. And when I interviewed him, it was a horrible interview because I kept talking <laughs> over him. Yeah. But, so when I watched it back, I was kind of cringing, but I really thought about it. Why the fuck am I interrupting him all the time? And it's because he was so rapid fire that, like, I, you kind of get up because yeah. David's so up. And yeah. it's like. Yeah, because he's like, okay, we got to do the interview, then I got to go do the Yeah, and like, it's like, his brain is thinking of, like, all the other shit that he still has to be doing. Yeah, I was yeah. wondering the same thing. I'm like, yeah. is his brain like this, like, yeah. all day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Jason was saying, uh, the one they did when they, he's, Jason's like, I'm going to give my housekeeper or my nanny oh, yeah, 10 yeah. grand or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then David immediately told him, he's like, no, no, we have to go gamble it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, that's no, the video. That. And Jason's like, that's fucking genius. Yeah. Like, 
it always, they went and did it. It's always one step bigger or a twist or something with him. It's yeah. not just a simple. Never the ordinary. No, it go, it's, it's always the extraordinary for sure. Yeah. But like that's what's so fun about it. Mm -hmm. It's like we just get to watch that too. Yeah. And I we I feel like we just could never keep up with that if we were trying to do that. I don't think mm -hmm. we could execute that. So I'm, I don't think anyone could. <laughs> yeah. So I don't I don't look at his videos and like we should be doing that because no. it's just like not us at and all. it's yeah. never who we were like when we no. started yeah. like we were never like that we i feel like stuck very much to like our rhythm and yeah pace we kind of just film whatever we're doing yeah and try to make it funny in some ways and that's what's nice i think about our whole friend group is everyone's videos are so different yep but then it's always the like well they're not working as hard as david you know like there's always going to be the comparisons but you just have to we're all different people and we're all yeah. doing different things mm -hmm. and like we're just all lucky to be in it together. Yeah. And thank God, because if we were working like him, we would never be able to work together because yeah. we'd always be doing different things. Yeah. And I just feel like it worked perfectly, everybody's styles of filming and yeah. Did you make the transition, like was it hard to go from Vine to YouTube? You know, you're doing short clips and now it's like, oh man, I gotta fill up five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever. Well, when we did it, we initially did it to do a show on our channel called Vining and Driving. So we interviewed <laughs> Viners. Okay. But it was kind of skitty and we did it. We played these like super bitchy characters. So we would interview people. We would like make them do stuff for us and just like, basically wouldn't like know who they were. Harrison and... Nicole Ritchie. Like think yeah. that kind okay. of style. Yeah. So like we had on our friends like David, Zane, like so many people and but then Vine died. So initially when we were doing YouTube, I feel like we were the first ones who were really posting on yeah. there out mm -hmm. of our friend group. I think so. Um, so when Vine died so did that. Mm -hmm. It's like, how are we gonna do this still? Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? So then... Did you panic? No. No, like, what are we gonna do? Because it was just a fun project. I feel like we stopped doing Vining and Driving, though, before Vine yeah. died. We were still doing Vine, but we were already doing YouTube, I believe, mm -hmm. before Vine died. No? Oh, yes. Yeah. I think, it's like hard to I remember. Think Vine died for us before it actually died. Oh. oh wow, that's you. deep. Okay. <laughs> that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like, in, like, the... No, I know you in mean, the most though. loving yeah, yeah. way. Yes, yes. But it just became something so different than what we knew mm -hmm. when it yeah. initially started. So for us, we were like, this is no fun anymore. Like, it's not what it used to be. And so then yeah. we just like stopped doing that. And then I think it was probably like six months later, we went on a trip to Omaha and we were like, let's just vlog it. This is before any of our friends started vlogging or yeah. anything. And it was Omaha doesn't scream like let's shoot a video. <laughs> it doesn't. No, it but really does. Yeah, we it were does like not. because we wanted to keep making videos mm, together. Yeah. Yeah. Like we were like, this was really fun. Like, what else can we do? So mm. we were like, let's just try. And it was <laughs> the, worst. the worst video like ever. <laughs> like we filmed nothing, like hardly anything. Yeah. Well, there's emo night there. So yeah. we filmed that. Okay. And, and then us drunk at the airport. I remember and like that. your dad talking about the weather. <laughs> For like five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. I want to post it at some yeah. point just to put it out there, yeah. but I don't know. I think we lost it. But. but so we never posted that and then we waited a little bit. Yeah. And then like a few months later, David posted his first video and we're like, maybe we should vlog. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Kind of how it happened. Was it hard? Because that's a very special skill. Like I just saw Emma Chamberlain was on the cover of Cosmo. That's oh, insane. Crazy. Which is insane. So insane. And so I, cool. I interviewed her and she's too big. She would never sit down with me now. But I, <laughs> I got her like a oh, year no. ago, right? She was blowing up, but like she's not where yeah, she is sure, now. Yeah. And she is so smart. And the way yeah. she works a camera, like she's doing the interview here and she's very conscious of everything. So she, we're talking like this and all of a sudden she's talking to the person watching YouTube. Yeah. She would kind of cut away and do that. And she has that skill and you guys do too. And so does David, obviously, of being able to talk to a camera, which is hard as fuck to do. Yeah. Not only talk to a camera, but to keep the audience engaged mm -hmm. by yourself. It's just you. Yeah. There's no tricks. Yeah. There's, you know, it's just you doing your deal. Like, was that hard to figure out? Not really. I think it was kind of fun for us, especially yeah. like for me, I never watched YouTube when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I didn't know any YouTubers. Carly basically introduced me to just about everybody that there yeah. is. <laughs> um, so for me, it was like this fun new thing. Mm -hmm. And we were doing it together. We were just messing around. It wasn't like supposed to be like, we're going to be famous. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it never felt like a job either. Yeah. It's like... It was just like, these are fun. Like, let's mm -hmm. try something new. And we were already making silly videos on the internet. Yeah. Anyway, and like people liked Vine. us together. Yeah. yeah. We were already roommates and everything. So everyone saw us together all the time. Like on so. Snapchats and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you're using all that, it, it's it's definitely different to make extended versions of it, but it was also fun. Yeah. And mm -hmm. just to, especially like I was freaking working in accounting, like crunching numbers, like this sucks. <laughs> yeah. <There was> <laughs> 
<laughs> Zane needed us for something during the day, and she had to like be doing emails of. So she, br you brought the computer. Oh, I did. Or yeah. something, and we you were literally outside by the pool, like working on. And my <laughs> boss called me. I'm like, "Yep, I'm by, I'm at the I'm at my desk." Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so like for me, it was just like a nice, fun, creative outlet to like get away from something that was so boring and Monotonous. miserable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that is a great message. I always say this too. Like I have a job. I've got two kids. I need health insurance yeah. and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I have like a regular job. I'm in sales. But I do this because it's fun. Just like you yeah, said, and it's a yeah. good creative outlet. Yeah. I think it's a good message too. I'm sure your younger fans are aspiring YouTubers. Uh -huh. Like it, the mindset now is like, I gotta quit my job. I'm gonna oh, be an Instagram yeah, star. Yeah. I got a vacation over, and you know, yeah. where I gotta, you know, quit school, and I'm gonna go do this. Sure. Where well, you don't have to. Like you can no. still live a normal life. Totally. Yeah. And still blow up like you guys. I like your story too because it took a while to get to a million. It took oh, us yeah. a long time. Yeah. It to didn't, our friends. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't happen. No. In two but, months. Yeah, and I think it makes it's you nice. appreciate it more. Like it it's does. a slow build. I feel like if it happened overnight, it would have been like what? Mm -hmm. Like now yeah. it's like we genuinely, truly like can take it all in and appreciate yeah. it for what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you have that same like love of the game as you did when you were in accounting and like, man, I just want to, Zane called me, I want to make a stupid <laughs> movie with Zane tonight. Yeah. You still have that kind of. Yeah, I think it like, it's different now, but it's still like, I wouldn't want to do anything else. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. What's different? Is it more because it's a job like anything else? I, I don't really know what it is, to be honest. It's nothing negative. It's mm -hmm. just like, we do it every day, so it doesn't, Obviously, if you like, do something every day, the spark is it's not as exciting. Not as there, and, but yeah, like the first few years we were doing it, we only posted twice, and now we post three times. So like we've been doing that, and definitely the third video we typically do a sit down video, and <laughs> those are just like, what do we do? Yeah. How do we think of another idea? We've been doing it for four years. Like what else is uh -huh. there? So it's little things like that, but then it's like you have to think. Like I'm making a ten minute video, mm -hmm. like, and that's how I'm being able to live in this apartment. Like that's how I'm able to yeah. Yeah. order Postmates. So it's like, I'm like, Whoa. yeah. before I was making crap money doing an actual nine to five job. Yeah. And like now I'm doing something that makes me happy. Sure. Yeah. So it's, the grass is always greener, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But people, I don't, it's funny before we, where am I at? This one. Before we started filming, <laughs> there's like eight cameras. There's like eight cameras. <laughs> we got phones up. We don't mess around here. Yeah. We're going to get this. It's going to be high quality production. Yeah. I'm like, how did Emma know which one to look at? I know. At? Dude, she's good. So yeah, I should have told you that guys. That was me, I think. I should have told you. Yeah, that's, which one, Daniel? What are these? Which one's the wide shot? <laughs> Daniel, get over here. This one's the wide. That's the wide? Oh. That's you guys. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay. Gotcha. Oh, we should, I should have probably told you that 20 right. minutes ago. It's fine. It's all yeah. good. Who cares? Yeah, fine. <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about. Love uh, in the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember either. Nine to five jobs. Yeah, just having fun. And now yeah. it's more, oh, that's what I was saying. Because before we started filming, you're over here answering emails and yeah. doing brand deals and stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't think people see that side of things. They definitely do The don't. meetings, the, yeah. the yeah, conference yeah. calls. Yeah. Somebody's tweeted say like, why do I have to have an hour conference call with something you could email me in two minutes? Oh, that minutes? was me. Ian, that was great. Ian from SeatGeek tweeted something. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like, what brand should, or what's important and what's not important. And I was like, what's also unimportant? An hour phone call is something you could read on an email. No, yeah. Just like, like, I was on a call. Carly had something yesterday. So I took a call that we were having with a brand and I was literally on the phone for an hour. And like everything was just like being repeated in like the first 10 minutes, I got all the info we needed and like <laughs> knew that. that we were good to go. Mm -hmm. But it's like, because the, there's tons of people on the call. Yeah. So, like, everyone is just trying to get up to the same speed. And I'm like, can't you just, like, CC? You know what exactly <laughs> what it feels like? You know the first week of school when there's a syllabus oh and the teacher God. reads uh. the syllabus from top to bottom and mm -hmm. you're like, I already can read. That's yeah. exactly what they're. I mean, obviously, there's really important calls you have yeah. and clear yes, up any questions. Definitely. And make sure, make sure you're hashtagging this. Make sure you're doing a swipe up here, mm -hmm. which is great. Like, obviously, you need that. But there's a lot of times where it just feels like they needed something to do. So they were yeah. like, let's have yeah. a call. And it's like, I don't need a call. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's probably the most, one of the most frustrating things. Do brands, because you do a lot of brand deals, do brands look at you like people? Or do, a lot of times do they go, okay, you know, what's the CPM? What's the, um, what's the engagement percentage? And I think a little bit of checking boxes. Both. Like definitely both. Obviously they want to make sure they're getting a good fit and a good yeah. rate for what we can offer. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I guess it's hard to tell. Yeah. I mean, there's some brands that are like, say this, say this exact sentence. Yeah. And it's nothing we would ever say. 
And they in don't real understand life. that. And they, yeah. yeah. They don't understand that, like, it would come across to the audience as, like, so phony mm-hmm. and disingenuous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that a lot of brands need to really just let, let sit them have back, it. let the influencers, like, be like, this is how it needs to be because it'll perform better for you. Yep. Yeah. Rather than, like, <laughs> Say this whole paragraph of like a completely thought out like <laughs> verse that you need to memorize from front to bottom. Yeah, and it doesn't. I feel like that doesn't do anything compared to like Seeking is such a great example because yeah. it's not like it's not like whoever's doing that deal has to read a whole thing or hit a bunch of marks. So you have to say a couple sentences mm-hmm. and it gets it across. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for like David's videos, you always know something exciting is coming, so people get excited for that brand deal. Yep. Um, I think we always bring this one up too, but the Adam and Eve one, how biz- as bizarre as it is, yeah, how'd it's that go? our favorite, they were like our favorite people to work with because really? they would it's literally so send lenient. us a box of sex toys <laughs> and we would open them up and just laugh and well, be like, what is this? Ha ha. And swing them around. It, and anal beads. It was, yeah, literally. Yeah. It was like one of the first brand deals we ever got. And, and we really? were like, we can't believe this is happening. We're like sitting in our little three bedroom in little Armenia. We'd get a box and it had like a bunch of toys in it. And like, we're not like sexual people on the internet either. So we're like, yeah. we don't know why this happened, but like, this is so cool. And so we're like opening the box and we're just seeing these like, crazy toys <laughs> dying laughing and it, it, in the criteria it's like don't don't laugh like don't, it doesn't say that stuff, but, it, it, but it they want you to be serious yeah, yeah. Of course. i mean if you see other people do them they're very serious yeah they're about like them. this one is great for this and this and like i'm like this one looks like a ghost <laughs> and we were like they are gonna they are not gonna approve this and then we sent it in within minutes he was like great post to it go. i i just paid you we're like what yeah. That never happens. So usually with brand deals, you send them in, you don't hear back for a day or two, and then you have to edit a couple things. Mm-hmm. It was it was insane. And then we kept doing them for a while. Yeah, and it works. People well, are buying it. Yeah. yeah. Even though we're making fun of it because that's who we are. Like that's our that's how we're gonna yeah. promote stuff. Not in a way where we're like, oh, this must be shitty. Like we're not saying that. We're still saying like this good is, things about yeah. It like wow, it's been, like we it. use like a vibrator as a back massage. Yeah. It is really powerful. Like, yeah. Dang. So it's just I I just feel like a lot of brands need to realize that people are going to talk in their own voice and it's going to mm-hmm. come across better because we know our audience. Of course. Yeah. And like they necessarily may not. Yeah. I'm going to insert Ian's tweet here too because yeah. I, I commented on today Ian. too. But like that was his first thing is like give the creators creative control. Yeah. Like yes. they're creators. Like yeah. they know what to do. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing's more annoying than when they say they're giving you creative control and, and then, then they give don't. them yeah. what we would consider creative control and they're like, well, you need to say this and this and this. And like, take you this didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess people see too, and I'm just kind of learning this now too, but I think the person watching this right now just goes, oh, they get a brand deal. Adam and Eve just goes, here's, you know, 20 grand. Oh Go God, post no. this on Friday. Right. No. I think that's the perception yeah. of like, and you know, that's it. It's it not. definitely depends on the brand too. Like mm-hmm. obviously bigger brands like McDonald's or, you know, like a giant corporation like that it's going to be more sure. strict than yeah. an adam and eve yeah which i get it they yeah. kind of have yeah. to be but there's yeah boundaries i feel like we yeah. have where okay go do your thing and then we'll figure it out yeah you know is don't any, do this don't do this don't do this but do your thing <laughs> yeah is there any downsides to being a like a big youtuber i mean what's what's the downside or what's the annoying part I mean, because it's easy to just look at your lives and go, this is so glamorous. You make a couple yeah. videos a week. <laughs> yeah. You add me, you send me money. Yeah. And, yeah. You I, know? Think, I think there's not many, honestly. No? Like, yeah. I think that I feel very lucky, but I think the only thing is that kind of bothers me is people, because they see so much of you, they assume or... Or walk into David's house. Yeah, well, that. Yeah, that like, just no happened when we left there houses. on the way yeah. here. Not really. People yeah, were outside. These kids were like, sorry, we came to your house. And I was like, you should be. <laughs> Go home. It's crazy. It happens too often now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but sorry. Sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Like, people just kind of assume that they know everything about you. Okay. Well, like, make things up and not really, really know who you are. Yeah. I see a lot of things. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, huh? Like gossip they, things that people yeah. talk. Yeah, I guess or like tweets that were, yeah, tweets that don't make any sense. Or they're like, I can't believe there was one. I saw Zane and he talked on their podcast too. It was a one on New Year's with you. Yeah, so it was like a good example. So it was Aaron and Mariah oh, yeah. dancing, and Taylor, <laughs> David's other assistant, she was like mopping in front of them and they staged it so Aaron was like we filmed it like five eyes. times Zane was like do this it's funny yeah and so Aaron like rolled her eyes at her because she like got in the shot but she was cleaning and 
they posted it because we all thought it was funny. And then somebody tweeted at her was like, I can't believe Aaron was so mean to Taylor. Yeah, they're like, why, why do you have to be like that? And then the tweet had like 300 favorites. And I'm like, what? That didn't even, it was a joke. Like Even Corinna, who wasn't there, replied and was like, they were obviously joking. Like we would never, we don't, yeah. we aren't like that anyways. Yeah. But it's like. But people like to theorize and like make their own theories based on like whatever narrative they want it to be. Look at Natalie and David. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. been going on for years. Yeah. Know? Yeah. That, oh my God, they're, you know, in love and they're getting yeah, married yeah. and all this, yeah. I know. People just see like a certain, what you present and they just kind of it's assume. It's what they want. Of course. So it's like whatever happens between them, they'll make it fit the narrative mm -hmm. that they want to see happen. Yeah. People think me and Aaron are dating. Oh, really? <laughs> you get that a lot? Engaged. No yeah. way. Oh yeah, speaking of which, how's the, how's the wedding planning going? Great. It's really When's the date? easy. April 4th. Oh, so that's like, coming up. Yeah, like a few months. So, My wedding dress came in today. Okay, all right. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I have to go get fitted, but I got an email. Okay. Um, I don't know. I thought it was going to be way more stressful than it was. At there is married women watching this right that now. That are like, who are like, F you. Yeah, yeah. punching me. My I wife's probably going, are you crazy? I think it's because like, for me, it's not like the decorations or like you don't all have to those pick the place settings and all things. this stuff. Yeah, like for me, that's not important. It's okay. just like about having all the people that I care about. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, literally, she cries when she talks about it. Um, Do you want me to talk for you? <laughs> yeah. Zoom in. <laughs> um, there's your like, babe. Um, like having everyone we care about there. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that the most stressful thing, like when I first started planning, cause I had no idea what I was doing. I've never planned a wedding before. Sure. So I'm like, how do you do this stuff? What, what, how do I start? And the really hard thing was like setting the guest list who we're inviting. Cause there's a cap at the venue. So it's like, you can only have so many people. What's and How many? 180. That's not a lot when you yeah. when you have families and stuff. I know. But, um, we're hoping to get it down to like 150. Okay. Just cause it's. That's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it is. What, everybody wants to know what YouTubers will be there. Uh, the whole vlog squad? Yeah, all of our friends. Okay. And then my friend Chris Clemens. Oh, I love Chris. I interviewed him. Yeah, yeah. I love Oh Chris. my gosh, he's amazing. Yeah. He is. He's so funny. I love him. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I talk about the wedding, he's like, can I come over? What can I do? Can I help you? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, I love you so much. Um, I don't think anybody else. No it's Kardashians, hard. no Jenners. Well, no. I invited them. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. yeah no, David will bring them. We both have pretty big families, so it's like we just sent out the invitations on Saturday. Okay. So I'm I'm so excited because I'm like I can't wait for all those no RSVPs. <laughs> yeah. Cut people off the list, make it smaller. It's like the best feeling. Like yeah. People, a few people have said no, and I'm like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it, it's all like leading up to that. But other than that, the venue we're having it at, a lot of this stuff is in-house, so I haven't had to like reach oh, out to cool. many vendors. Is it in LA? I don't want to say. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Are you going to be filming it? Everyone want to know uh, that too. Yeah, I mean, we'll definitely be like vlogging, yeah. and then I, obviously all my Like you'll be are... in your wedding dress, like vlogging? Probably, Probably. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real, that's what's paying for the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and people love that. And it's yeah. like, why wouldn't I want to have those memories? Like, obviously, all my friends are welcome to film, but I really don't think many people will be other than no. David. Like, everyone's yeah. going to want to enjoy the day. Of course, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. Fucking crazy. I can't believe it's like so close. I'm, we're going on my bachelorette next weekend. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Exciting. So crazy. I'm excited. You're, obviously, you're in the wedding, yeah. I assume, right? <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. You're not? Okay. I'm sorry if I made that all for you. Shut up. She's not going. <laughs> did you yeah. pick out the dresses? I mean, did yeah, you did I look good? Yeah, I too. I still need to like figure Try it on. Yeah, yeah. and like get it fitted. Because I've been to many weddings. I'm married, obviously. A lot of women complain that they always pick the bridesmaid's dresses shitty so the bride looks oh, better. That's no, a thing. That does not happen. That's oh my a God. thing. Great dresses. I, literally, for... I'm like, I want everyone to, like, Mariah. Mm -hmm. Do you know Mariah? No. Do you know Heath? Yeah, yeah. So his girlfriend. Okay, I got you. She's in my bridal party as well. And I was shopping for, just looking at dresses mm -hmm. for the bridesmaids. And I saw one and I was like, she needs to wear this. I don't care if she looks better than me <laughs> on my wedding day, which she probably will. It's like the most insane dress. And I was like, this is gonna be perfect on her. <laughs> nice. Like, why wouldn't you want your friends to look yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, and we I went to each try... other up. You're not a bridezilla. <laughs> no, oh, no, no. not at yeah. all. Opposite. Yeah. Actually. That's good. Like, Whatever. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, she like cares, but it's not yeah. like, yeah. I need this. I need this. No. Just, like, yeah. Figure it out. And like, cool. Uh, yeah. It's, I just don't understand why some people make it like, so because they've been dreaming about this the whole life. I know. Yeah. That's another thing. Like that's I haven't. Thing, yeah. Like I haven't had a book since I was a kid. That's like this is my wedding dress. This uh -huh. is what I'm doing. Because 
why plan for that stuff? Just let it happen. Yeah. Yeah. And David was very generous. Yeah. Did he pay for both like, the honeymoon? Please don't bring this one up. I'll actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does he um, give the greatest presents of all time? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's insane. And they're so sudden. Like I had no idea that was coming. I'm sure you didn't. How did it, how did it happen? So I, I knew he over. did, but how did it happen? We had just flown back from Vegas. Mm -hmm. We went with to, him. Yeah, I don't we, remember. it was oh, the yeah. night that we went to do the on Stars guy. Thing. Oh yeah, we were so hungover. We were so hungover the next day. We flew to Vegas for the night, came back the next day. Carly and I had to post a video. We were dying, and then I went home to nap because my fiance throws a party in LA. And I had to go to that later that night. So I was like napping and then I woke up to a call from David and he was like, we need to go do this, like blah, blah, blah. And we'd been with him the whole day. So it kind of seemed like he just wanted to like check another thing off the list, mm -hmm. but I wasn't really sure why. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I was tired and hung over. So when we got to the car, what you see in the video, there was like, three minutes leading up to it of him just like not saying He's anything. like, I'm so nervous. Yeah. And, and we were like, like what, what are you about to tell us? I'm so and I was scared. like, annoyed. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, just say whatever you need to say. Like, this is pissing me off. Like, are we going somewhere? What are we doing? And yeah, so that was, that was really crazy. I was just like, what? Because that was like a really big stressor for the both of us was money. Of course. Because like we are both in student loan debt. Like, mm -hmm. and we're like, wait, I don't want to plan a wedding yet. I have like $30,000 of student loans. Mm -hmm. He has 20000 We were just like, we'll just hold off for a little while. Yeah. So that oh, was yeah. really crazy. Yeah, we were like, what the fuck? And then David, he didn't put that in the video, but then we drove to my fiance and like told him. So that was really nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was crazy. Did you pick the honeymoon spot yet? I really want to go to Greece. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've never been. I've always dreamed about it. You know, sisterhood of the traveling pants. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I'm big in spell. I want to be Blake Lively. Because <laughs> um, we've been to a lot of Europe, and I've done, like, the Bahamas, mm -hmm. Hawaii. We go there every Christmas. So mm -hmm. I feel like those are, like, big destinations. I really just want to go to Greece. Nice. Yeah. Well, have fun. We'll see. I haven't planned it yet. No, okay. <laughs> well, it's nice to know it's taken care of. How, yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna be the biggest relief of all time. I yeah, it's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. I can't say it's ever, something I ever imagined happening. Yeah. So, <laughs> feel so, very lucky. How does David? I mean, he's given away cars, weddings. <laughs> I mean, just all this stuff. My, he got me a car. He got me. A he got you. Wedding. He got you a car too. He bought you a yeah. wedding. What did he get you? Stole. I was like one of the first yeah, car this, surprises. Oh, nice. Yeah, someone stole my car. Okay. And what kind of car was it? The car that was stolen. Yeah, yeah. It was like a 2009 Toyota Corolla. So nothing great. No. Yeah. And then he surprised me with a 2018 Toyota Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this is great. Thank you, Jesus. Like, <laughs> that was, this was like two years ago. Did he upgrade? Like, you had the LE and he gave you the sport version. I got a version. backup cam. Oh, yeah. That was the exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got a camera. I was like, this is amazing. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that was fucking crazy. Every video where he surprised me with something, I just sobbed like a baby. It's yeah. like, because you Her. don't expect that stuff. <laughs> the car was so funny, too, because when he had gotten someone a car before, it's always, like, a nice car. And for her and me, too, it's like, I don't want to pay a, a crazy amount of insurance. Because oh, yeah. like, we don't, we're not, like, <laughs> yeah. car people where mm -hmm. we care. Like, and at the time, like, two years ago, like, we weren't making the money that we're making, like, say, now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either. So, like, and I'm just like, oh, my God, I have so many bills. I can't afford to buy a new car. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know what I was going to oh, do. Oh, that's true. I forgot about it. But then when the car thing happened, she was like crying and she was like, but I don't want, is the insurance okay? I was like, I was like, is it a nice car? Like, what's the insurance? Yeah. Be like? Before she even saw the yeah, car. I had no idea what it was. He was like, I'm not paying the insurance, yeah. okay? You got to take care yeah. of that. And then I saw it. I was like, like oh, it's oh a cool my God. God. Okay. Yeah. 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 That was exciting. He surprised me with a few things, but it's always like very circumstantial. Like, mm -hmm. my oh, car yeah. was stolen. Oh, I gotcha. And then, like, I'm a big sports fan and I'm a Patriots fan. I'm a Red Sox Sorry. fan. Sorry. So, they are in the Super Bowl. Yeah. They were in the World Series. And I feel like people are like, he gets her and everything. And I'm like, it's really circumstantial. Yeah. Like, because not only is it like something nice to do for your friend, it's like great for your video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. And people are like, he gets air and everything, but not Carly. And I'm like, but I don't like need any. Like, he yeah, what do you get? What's up? With your, well, he did get the me a car present? at one point. What did he get you? Um, a Tesla. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it was nice. the one I was going to buy. Like, I was looking at it for months to buy one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then he surprised me with one out of the blue as well. It was one of those moments where it's when you he didn't even tell me. No. Like in the video, you see I'm looking yeah, at like, the car like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> like I was like, it was like that meme with all the numbers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That once lady. they're here. Yeah. Because yes. yeah. he told us to come over because we had to reshoot a bit. Okay. So that's what we thought. And it was made happening. sense what he yeah. told us because it kind of happened 
what I don't remember what it was. We're like, okay, yeah. we'll go over. And then it wasn't even like, come outside, I have something to show you. It was like, okay, let's go to the car so we can refilm it. And as we were walking out, it was just pulling up. And I was just yeah, like, I'm like, wait, what's happening? Hold on. <laughs> what? It was crazy. Yeah. And yeah, it's really a weird situation when someone buys you a car. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah. you don't want to take it but it's like it's like too big a gift totally, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah but then it's also like oh my god this is the best <laughs> gift ever but yeah. also like i don't deserve it but yeah. you do this so i feel like i need to yeah it was what amazing. do you get him i mean when it's christmas what the hell do you get you david literally can't you literally can't get the him only anything. thing you can really get him is content that's all yeah. that he would, there's yeah. nothing you could get him that he would sure get excited about except content okay yeah which is or like Ariana too. Grande. <laughs> yeah, maybe Ariana Grande or something. But yeah, no, he loves content. So yeah. like even when it was, it was his birthday, we did like a content wheel for him. So it's like, put a snake on Carly and Aaron, like stuff that would be good for his video. Yeah. Uh -huh. We couldn't think of anything. That yeah, was, that's like, a good idea. Yeah. He wanted like a $20,000 Cartier ring, but. <laughs> yeah, and we literally were going to all pitch in and get it for him. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like somebody, I don't remember who it was that was close to him, was like, no, he went there the other day and he was like, I don't, I don't really want, want it. it. Yeah. So we're like, Dang it, but it, I feel like he does. Because the only, he only has like passions for one thing for like every once in a while. Okay. That yeah. are like, but, and so many of them are completely unattainable. Like yeah. what? Like Natalie like, Portman. Yeah. <laughs> like, sorry, it's you like, can't. It's like, David, if anyone's going to get her to you, like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It is a weird feeling though, because it's like, I we do want to get him something. Like when it was of his course. birthday, we're like, he's done so much for us. True. Like, what do we get? For him like even, we were like we want to buy him the ferrari and then he's like look guys i got myself the yeah, ferrari and like yeah. surprised us we're like what <laughs> surprised us with his ferrari yeah, <laughs> yeah. well we've but, talked enough about david yeah, yeah. i think so too yeah, I'm so, kidding. so back to you guys <laughs> People want to know too the whole david has one jason has one everybody has a podcast yeah where is your yeah. podcast everyone's been i don't saying know that. i mean it's tough for us because i feel like our vlogs are basically podcasts i know and we've talked about it before like moving like, podcasts i feel like we'd have to have some sort of like, like an theme angle. or like uh, yeah you know like a, i don't know like something specific we would talk about like a vanderpump rules that's what podcast. i was just thinking yeah, yeah. Like, where they talk about it could work for us for a show you that have we to, watch yes you have to start watching but, vanderpump no rules. i'm not doing that we could never i could never do that to lara <laughs> <laughs> she's the queen <laughs> But what do you, yeah, something yeah. like that. Okay. What well, was it? Someone was like, you guys should do a, like, criminal. Like oh, a, yeah. I was like, what? Like, it's a, a criminal, criminal investigation, investigation podcast. <laughs> like, we go to scenes, like, yeah. what to do? But, yeah. like, yeah, it would have to have, like, a general theme, which is... Not just you guys hanging out and talking. It. Yeah. Probably okay. not, because I feel like that would take... I don't take know. away from the I feel vibe. like that's why people watch our videos, is yeah. for us to just, like... Chad and be yeah. a normal person and I, talk yeah. To the camera. I was talking to David and Jason about it because people do ask us and it's it would be hard for us because David and Jason are able to do it because David's videos aren't like an insight to his life. Mm -hmm. Whereas yeah. on the podcast it's them talking about like the day to day. Mm -hmm. Whereas like his videos are so fast paced and like crazy and you don't really get a deeper understanding of who he is. Gotcha. So like for us, it's like we do that already. Yeah. We Where do can our day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Like we can't just it would feel like overkill, this, I think, yeah. for me anyways. But totally. it's like we already talked about this. Yeah. But yeah, if there's something specific that comment some ideas. You guys below. have yeah, an comment idea below, about. yes. <laughs> Other question, what about a live show? A Ooh, live show? That would be fun. Would you do one? Why not? Mm, maybe. Think of the duos who've done them, right? Yeah. Um yeah. Which McCaw? I can't think of one now. Like uh, um, Mamrie and Grace. Yes. Like they do. They, well, they have a podcast. Yeah, they do their podcast. They live. do their podcast yeah. live. But it's also we're always like, what do we do? Yeah, I don't know what we would do. I know. <laughs> yeah, right. Juggle. But you know, it's like you could just sit and have a conversation, like which a big I think Q and A type cool. of thing. Noel yeah. Miller and um, Cody. Yeah. Cody do a live like show. Funny and sing and. You're laugh. not funny. I've been laughing the whole time. No, <laughs> yeah. no like well, you know, like they they do. They're like, like comedians, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Like, we just turn into like pop stars on stage. Like in Chris's video. What? In Chris Clemens' video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it's just about, like, finding. <laughs> yeah. But, but I'm not opposed to any of that at all. Okay. I think if yeah. the opportunity presents itself, then sure. Yeah. Who's your fan? Because it seems like you're so zeroed in on, like, this is who we are. This is what people want. This is what we're going to give them. Like, do you know, like, who is your, who is your viewer? I know it varies, but, I like. I think it's really all over the place. Do you have but one person in mind? Like, one demo? Like, say, okay, it's a 16-year-old girl I'm talking to. Or do you, do you think oh, about it like no. that or no? It's, oh no it's not really. really like i read all of the comments on our videos and really? like pe yeah and people will be like i'm a 40 year old woman or whatever and then like people will be like 
Carly, I'm 40. I don't know if you date an older man. So it's like, <laughs> you know, and people are like, I'm a mom with kids. You but still then, got it. You still got it. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, and we get those comments all the time. So it's really hard to tell. And even our PO box will get letters and it's like, I'm a People write letters? Yeah. yeah. No oh, yeah. way. People will be like, I'm a 30 year old school teacher. Like, don't think your audience is like all young. And like, I'm sure that majority is probably, I would say between like 18 and 25. Okay. And then like, definitely younger, definitely older. Yeah. But when I'm reading a comment, I'm not like, oh, this person's 21. Yeah. Like I kind yeah. of just view them as, I look at their icon. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I can get like a, a little grasp yeah. on like who you are. And like um, maybe sometimes I'll like go to their channel if they're For the mean people, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's like, usually just a black like, what circle. What is your problem, <laughs> Susan? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well, one time a woman was commenting on every single one of our videos and being so mean. And I was like, what the heck? Like, so I went to her page because like, are they young or are they yeah. old? Like, who are they? I went to her page and it's like videos of her kids. Oh, like, it's dude. like a mom with children. And I like wrote back one. I'll never forget this. Just I'm like, why is that like what you want? for your life. Mm -hmm. Like you're a mom, like be a role model. And I was just like, I hope that your kids don't grow up to be as nasty as you Ooh, are. Like, <laughs> cause it, it like every video, it was so, it was bad. Yeah. Like that I'll never understand. Cause it's like, I'm fine with people not liking us, but why go out of your way mm -hmm. to comment on every video, like nitpicking something small just because you don't enjoy it. Yeah. It Would just I... makes me see that person as like, you're sad. bored. You're, you're just sad. like bored, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I never understood the following people you hate mentality. Oh, yeah. Like, I'll subscribe and I'll, yeah. so I can be the first hate one watching. to get. Yeah. yeah. Is that what it's called? That's the I thing. Mean, I, I hate watching. hate watching. I definitely do it. But do I would you never, really? I like watch people that I'm I don't. Guilty. Yeah. I mean, well, I never think it's be like, we hate you. Yeah. Why are you posting this? Yeah. Like, I would, I would never, never say something to them or about them, like okay. on their page. Like, I would never. But I just it's, think it's interesting. Yeah. It's more, it's not like hate watching. It's like, interesting to see other people's lives that you may not agree with yeah okay. if that makes sense yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i don't like follow along people that make me angry or something no. if that makes but sense. but people no. do that they yeah. do yeah i don't get it mm -mm, like i don't, don't want to watch somebody i don't like yeah i think it's also just being in a group it's like you, they can't really avoid everybody anyway because we're all like in david's videos too mm -hmm. so they'll see us or see zane if they don't like zane mm -hmm. or heath and then they can make a comment about it and they just I don't know. It's just interesting. I've never understood why people write mean things mm -hmm. because I don't know. Like I've just never had that urge to do that. Oh, no. Never. I don't think I've ever left a mean comment. I just don't know what that does. I yeah. just if I don't like the video, I just click it off. I, watch some else. What? Yeah. Where is that? Like put that energy towards something else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's so bizarre to me. Like I would never do that as a kid either. Yeah. Maybe as a kid, I was kind of an asshole kid. <laughs> yeah. I probably okay, would. Okay, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I'm right. also thinking back, like I didn't know YouTube. Like I was sure. probably saying it, like in my AIM status, like yeah. you Becky. <laughs> yeah, you know, you like I don't know. remember. I have the worst memory when it comes to my childhood. Do you get a lot of hate? I don't see you guys. Not really. So likable videos, like a lot really. of tweets. Twitter's yeah. nasty. Tweets. There's also like gossip pages, but it's more just like interesting to read. Yeah. So it's just like, huh? <laughs> yeah, because it's all, most of them are just like theories. People have opinions, but then turn them into like these crazy theories. And it's just reading is, them is like, well, how do you even think <laughs> that? Yeah. So, we'll just like laugh, laugh. about it. Yeah. Like, what? And sometimes it hurts our feelings and we kind of internalize it and are like, mm -hmm. do we do that? Are we actually? Oh, uh, yeah, I know. But yeah. then like you have to think at the end of the day. It's just like people who they just don't know, don't have anything else fine. to do, really. Yeah. 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 And I always think if I was younger watching our group, if I, because I know I would like want to be with people who also, it's like watching an after show, I guess. Yeah. It's just like people have theories and stuff like that. Yeah. I, think yeah. it, I do think it's interesting. So I totally get why people do it. But yeah, um, yeah. I just like haven't re really been able to like read them lately just because I'm like, I, it, when I don't read it, I'm just like fine. Yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. just like enjoy making videos because sometimes it does get to you. But yeah. Not for very long. I feel like if if I read it, I'll like think about it for maybe like twenty minutes. I'm like, ah, oh wait, no. I, I know, I know our lives, so it's fine. You know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Keep like burping. It's like in the mic. <laughs> I know, yeah, and I realize yeah. I'm like, oh, they won't be able to hear that. <laughs> <It's Marbert. laughs> Who gets the most hate in the vlog squad? I don't know. Does anybody like it more than the other? I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, uh, I feel like people will just have opinions on everybody. Yeah, it's hard mm -hmm. to say too because I don't really read other people's mm. video comments. True. Um, so I don't know. You guys all seem pretty likable. I don't see anyone. Yeah. yeah. I think a majority is we don't get much hate like any of us 
yeah. on our pages, like on our comments. But you're I mean, not polarizing. Times, huh? You're not polarizing. Like if you go to yeah. a Trisha Paytas video, you're gonna right. see a fucking shitload of totally. negative comments. Yeah. But right. you, you don't seem like you piss people off like that. Yeah. We try not to. Yeah, it's good. We really try not to. <laughs> it's good for the views. Even yeah. if we do, sorry, that's just who we are. Yeah. <laughs> I think the only time is if there's something specific in that video that mm -hmm. we'll say, or like there's an opinion we had about something. Yeah. Maybe that'll trigger like, like Team like, Edward or Team. Yeah. Jacob. <laughs> a really important one. That. Twilight. Twilight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. People really hated on us for that. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's never anything serious. No. Yeah. It's just like, I don't know. Most of the hate comments are about our physical appearance. Yeah. Which That's like, gotta be tough. Um, Who wants I to hear really that shit? I really about that. Yeah, I, I'm pretty like comfortable in my skin, so like mm. yeah. those don't really bother me, and I'm just like, okay. Yeah. I know that that's not what I look like, and yeah, whatever. But mm -hmm. it does it does bother me because they're probably leaving comments on other people's, and they Ooh. might not feel yeah. that way. They might be really young, or totally. True. Like it might be that in real life, and say something. I don't know. Yeah. It's like, what's the? Po I just like really don't understand the point. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's definitely a lot of creators out there who struggle with like serious mental health issues, and yep. do have people comment stuff like that, and it will like trigger whatever is wrong with them, mm -hmm. which is really sad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Be nicer. Like. 2020, be nicer. Yes. <laughs> so You never know what someone's going through. <laughs> or they might be your boss one day or something. Yeah. My, my mom always told me that. <laughs> never be mean. They might be your boss one day. Like, <laughs> it's good advice. It is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> well, talk about your candy brand, too. I love... Yeah. I, I'm sure you get named, asked where... I know where the name comes from, mm -hmm. but tell us where the name comes from. Well, it was a code for a brand deal, mm -hmm. actually. It was C and E. And I remember... We were like, well, oh, that's cute for merch. Yeah, it says candy, kind of. And it's yeah. our names, like our yeah. initials. Yeah. Um, so we just went with that. I, I love it. I think it's, it's really so cute. It's so cute. Yeah. And we were trying, because when we thought of it, we were like, oh, it's, it could be like French. Like if like a random person like saw you, if we put like, <laughs> put like the little thing the little on it. The little thing yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Like it looks very. Like Hermes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like when you see that, it's like, what is that? What's, yeah. what is candy? Mm -hmm. Why is it spelt that way? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's fun. We tried to make the first launch like really fun and bright. Mm -hmm. Did you do pop-up shops and stuff? Yeah, yeah we, did. we did one oh, okay. um, at the Westfield Century oh. City place. Yeah. Yeah, Finjoy cool. had like a month-long deal there. So we all, everyone I think that they work Worked with, with had one, oh, had one. Okay, like each cool. weekend. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So was fun. that was fun. We got to meet a lot of people, which was really cool. A lot of fans? Yeah. 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 yeah it was cute. And they were like buying, it was cool to see someone buying your thing in mm -hmm. person. Because it was the first time we put out merch in like two years. Yeah. So that was like when we started selling it and people were coming in and it's buying stuff. Them. We're like, oh my God. Like, that's sweet. That's yeah. nice. And it was set up so cool. Like yeah. they're opening it was like drawers a store. and getting, yeah. Oh, really? It just yeah. looked cute. It was yeah. really cool. Yeah. So. So we'll talk about your merch now. What do you have for 2020? Oh, oh we're trying to think of ideas. Yeah, that? do you have any ideas? Yeah, we're trying <laughs> to think of ideas for new stuff. I really want to, I don't know, I really like leopard. Okay. So I'm thinking yeah. that could be like a fun way to start the year. It's yeah. still winter, but I don't know. I'm still, Fashion's tough. It, it, it is. Because it's just constantly changing. Yeah. And I'm like not a fashion person. No. So I have a hard time even thinking of an idea. But I have little things. Like I just love the 90s girly look. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like that's always in my brain. We kind of did that with the suck my ass. <laughs> I know. I saw that. I love <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. It's almost limited to looking. So yeah. I always like stuff like that, but. Limited yeah. to, that's funny. Yeah. That's not around anymore, I'm guessing, no. now, right? No. I don't I, think so. Didn't it change to something else? Um, yes, it changed to... Every girl I went to school with justice. was all about the limited. Justice. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's funny. Back in our yeah. day. Kids watching this will have no oh, idea yeah. what limited huh? is. Well, yes. I think justice might be around. Oh, okay, so there we go. Yeah. Nice. But that was past our time as a teen. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So are, you're moving beyond, like, hoodies and the traditional we stuff. We want to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just see. Yeah. We'll see. Happens. Who knows? Okay. Yeah. We've been and talking about like hair clips and stuff. And other yeah, cool. we don't know. Yeah. Okay. Some accessory wise, something mm -hmm. cute and it's tough because it's the winter too. So it's like you still have to make things that are yeah good for this climate True. and not like a tank top. I know. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like still like okay, more hoodies, I guess. I know. But yeah. I really want to people do, like, like hoodies though. Yeah, I really want to do a crew because mm -hmm. we don't have that. Yeah, we don't. It's the only like in between because we have a long sleeve shirt and then a hoodie. Okay. So I think like a crew, little crew neck will be nice. That'll be cool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. And we can get it at Fanjoy. Yep. Fanjoy.co slash candy. Yes. C A N D E. What else are you promoting the channel you guys have together and you have individual channels as well? We do. Yeah. We'll yep. Put them right here. Okay. 
Thank you. Yes. Here they are. I yes. think I trust them that they'll be there. How do you manage both? Like, okay, this content's gonna be Carly and Aaron, and oh, I gotta do a Carly video today. What's that gonna be? Like, how do you? Um, well, I mean, I feel like our focus is just our channel. Yeah, yeah. And then when that's we're number not, one. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, then we're not together. Like, she did Vlogmas, so she, I don't know how <laughs> she did that, but when we weren't together, then she would film every day yeah. for okay. her Vlogmas. Yeah. So I did didn't didn't post at all in 2018, except 2019, for except for December. Oh, you did? No, we don't really post on those channels. I feel like okay. this one takes up most of our time, was, yeah. which yeah. is good. It's like we want to grow that business. So yeah. I feel like I did it the year before mm -hmm. when like I think it was like right after we first made the channels. I'm like, I'm going to try. And TJ was on tour, so I was home by myself. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, what the hell else am I going to do? Yeah. yeah. And so I just did it, and people liked it. So then this year when December was coming around, they were like, Will you please do it again? Will you please do it again? I was like, well, it was fun. I had a good time. And okay. like, luckily, my fiance TJ like loved it. Really? Like he, yeah, he would like pick up the camera, like, you forgot to bring this. Like, <laughs> don't forget the camera. So I'm like, oh, this is great. Um, so it was fun. Yeah. What does TJ do? So he throws parties all around the country called the Emo Night. Okay. Um, it's basically just like 2000s emo alternative music that they oh, cool. play okay um and then he also owns a like digital creative agency and they work with a lot of musicians on like social media and music videos okay. and stuff like that so he's kind of in he's kind of in the biz but more behind the scenes kind of yes okay do you yeah because now you're single right do, would you go i mean what's the dating scene like i don't know in there la one. right now <laughs> For it me, there is isn't. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I have all the dating apps and everything, but yeah. I don't really use them. Like, I just no. look and I'm like, I don't know. I, it's hard isn't to... it like online shopping? Because I miss that, right? Yeah. But like, yeah. is it like shopping for Amazon? Like, oh, they're hot. I like yeah, this. I get. Then when we were using <laughs> yeah, it. Right? Then when we were young. <laughs> yes. It. No, it's literally. It seems the like same. it would be fun. Well, we. Used I'm to... just going to look for hot people. It is, it is fun, but it's like, if you want something serious, it's hard oh, okay. to. It's just hard yeah. to know. I would rather meet somebody in person and feel their vibe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because even seeing a picture, it's like, I don't know if I would be attracted to this person without seeing how they act. And I don't know. Totally. It's, it's so weird, but. Um, we were never like daters. Even never. when we no. first moved here, like we had all the dating apps, but we would use them as a way to get content. <laughs> and just like <laughs> joke with people. And like mess with people. And like we would get like high and like DM people like, oh my God, like, you can't believe what I just said to this guy. <laughs> like, and then like it was like that. And yeah. then we like post funny screenshots on Twitter mm -hmm. of our conversations, like messing with people. Like probably wasn't yeah. the greatest thing, but mm -hmm. also like mo this was like four year, four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. Like it was so new then. Like yeah. the guys were fucking so lame and just like gross are they still i'm sure are but they the, yeah, lame and gross what, i don't i don't talk to anybody on them so i don't yeah. really know so we would like swipe on oh. hold for beeping hold for beeping hold on hold for beeping it's my car it sounds like my horn yeah but it, it somehow turned around and came back and somebody jumped out of the window of the rv oh we're back and... by the way guys we're talking about an rv from oh, ventura hi. Hi. hey what's up <laughs> Nothing, no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that anymore. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. <laughs> so what ended up happening? Did they catch the RV? Yeah, yeah the people the jumped out the window. Or no, I think there were like four suspects and like three of them ran. Oh, you know, no shit. or something. Yeah, I, I tried know. Googling it today and there were no updates. No updates? Our crime investigation yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's not going well, guys. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're trying, even, we're that's trying. How we, it's a three minute. <laughs> yeah. Your first three case you didn't podcast. solve. We're just like, oh, yeah, we don't know what happened. Carly had up the citizen app. We <laughs> I were looking at a police everything. scanner. I, I follow a police chase group on Facebook. And Are you serious? So, oh yeah, and they're always so on it. And it, it wasn't a chase <laughs> at that point, so it never happened. But Wait, it's just these Yahoo's who tape police chases well, no, like the helicopter it's shots it's live from the helicopter yeah 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 Yeah, so it's usually like news stations but they'll post it live to facebook and this group uh, will repost it so everyone can watch is that is that maybe that could be your podcast just about police chases <laughs> chasing yeah and now it's it. going and yeah, going he's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be the boringest podcast ever yeah, yeah. he made a left hand turn here they're Ooh, so interesting to watch he just though. almost hit a pedestrian yeah <laughs> oh my god is he okay oh my god cute look at that dog uh, yeah, yeah. Be awesome. well guys <laughs> thank you so me. much you've said it all Thank you for having we tried. us. I think so, yeah. There's nothing I'm else. so happy I got to vent about Jax Taylor. <laughs> I don't know. Should we leave that in? Should we cut it out? Do people what care? Do think? I don't know. I said we leave the whole thing in. Yeah. Yeah, just leave it in. We should promote You're welcome. Skip over you're that welcome, part. Lisa Vanderpump, for promoting your show. <laughs> and, and, and Housewives. Andy, and Andy Cohen, if you're watching. You know what? Speaking of which, I always do blue cards because of Andy Cohen. I oh. love Andy. I love Andy. I love Andy. He's Cohen. one of the all time greats. He's amazing because he like built this incredible franchise. What's he and worth? 
oh my God, I can't even imagine. Yeah. But isn't afraid to just call everyone out on their shit. No. Like during the reunions, all of the women, oh, sorry, we're back on. Man, Who I'll cares? Just... No, let's stay. I'm with <laughs> you. The, the what women, reunion? The women, Orange County? Orange County. And um, which one was I watching last night? Dallas. Dallas. Was on. Yeah. One of the housewives, Leanne, she was like saying all of these things. He's like, that's not true. She was like, I couldn't because of production. He's like, that's not true. That didn't oh. happen. Like literally like five times did that to her. That's funny. And will like call her out on their shit. And then she was being like, she did some stuff in the show and they told all of the housewives that they weren't going to air it. But then he stirred the pot and was like, did you guys tell her that you only like finally told her the reason you told her was because you found out that it was going to be on air actually. Like literally just like says whatever he wants and it's iconic. Oh yeah. He knows how to get great TV and it's, I respect it's the hell great. out of him. Every year. Yeah. It's good. Even the even though you hate the people it's hate watching, right? Yeah, I hate yes. I hate watch. Yes. I didn't know that. I'm a hate watcher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I hate Vicky. Welcome to the club, baby. Yeah, that's right. that's right. Welcome. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, uh, subscribe, turn on notifications. Hopefully you like this interview. It really helps attract advertisers. And go back and watch the old videos we did. David, Jason, Zane. I don't know. Is there more? Should we do more vlogs? Squatters? Yeah, yeah. get everyone just do, in here. Just get everybody get in. It's a great comfy couch. Yeah, we yeah. If any of you guys are watching. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.